All right, guys, so let me show you what I'm working on here today. So as you guys know, I breed snakes like crazy, and I have a ton of snakes in here and rodents, and all my equipment here is made by ARS, and I think it is really, really top-notch equipment. Basically, I filled the whole room with uh, ARS caging for all my, my mature snakes, all my rats and mice, and all my hatchlings and there's a couple of things you know even though it's the best the best of the best of the best <laughs> I think there could be some improvements in uh, some of the ARS racks and one of the things that I would really like to see uh, ARS come out with is some more adapters so I actually welded together this adapter here basically it goes from uh, this spot here up to here and I actually fit my mouse rack on top of my rat breeder rack. So that's kind of one of the, the things I wish they, they came out with. So you could kind of mix and match more of the different levels together, especially in a small space like this. And then another thing is uh, these boa tubs. Um, you know, I really like these boa tubs. And the fit and finish is really just outstanding. They slide really easy. They can hold a lot of weight. I could put my 50 pound retic in here and she's actually <laughs> up here in this tub and uh, I, I can show you what she looks like. So she is a really big girl and yeah she's she's looking for a rat now. <laughs> I need to clean her cage but she is she's really big and the problem is, is if she gets really hungry uh, she start she kind of starts pacing the tub and yeah I don't want her to come out <laughs> she starts pacing the tub and um, uh, the problem is uh, I, I've seen her just a little bit on her lip she gets like uh, little abrasions and sometimes she'll have a little cut uh, on her lip just from kind of pacing the tub and I couldn't quite figure out where it was coming from so I started kind of feeling around and everything all in here is really nice, really smooth, all except the glass. It's, it's, actually, it's actually plexiglass and these have really sharp edges. It's like really um, uh, like fresh cut um, plexiglass here. And you can tell it's just kind of glued on right here. So. What I decided to do is use a little bit of this clear silicone. It's actually for aquariums. And uh, I am going to take the rough edges off of that plexiglass in the front. Okay, so what I want to do here is <laughs> I'm just going to try to put some silicone right along the edges. I thought maybe I needed a glove to kind of spread it out but this is going on really smooth <laughs> if I can make it uh, to where it's to where it looks as professional as an ARS rock <laughs> if I don't get too sloppy with this I might not be able to I might not need to uh, go back over it but I think this is a pretty simple fix and uh, uh, actually I probably don't need this glove I'm surprised actually ARS hasn't thought of this and I'm not sure if boas actually have the same problem where they kind of push on the tub so I don't know if I can get on the bottom too well here but this almost takes the whole <laughs> the whole bottle of yeah I might need to go back over this uh, it's coming out pretty good I think I'm I don't know I might not even use a glove I just might use my finger kind of go over it kind of make it look a little more professional just try to get the rough edges off 
<laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm about to use some little paper towel here and you definitely want all of this out of here before you put your snake in, I'm sure. I think I'm making it worse with my finger. <laughs> but I think that'll definitely take the rough edges off. That's gonna work good. All right. Almost looks as good as an original ARS. <laughs> so that was it. Basically, a quick little fix. Uh, if you have an ARS tub and a big snake, I would highly recommend doing the same thing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.